Greetings everyone, Dwyer here again, and today we are back with a very, very special city, because you can see the city name is Haunted City, and that is haunted for a reason. That's right, it's October! That means, like, Halloween and ghosts and stuff, so you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do a very, very special city here. We're gonna make ourselves, as you can see in the name, a haunted city. Does that sound cool? I think that sounds pretty cool. So, I'm gonna start off completely differently than how I normally do things. Uh, in the tutorials thus far, you've seen that I've got like a very uh, rigorous system that I use. Now, uh, we're not really doing the rigorous system because I've got a very specific idea on the kind of city that I want to create. So, you're more than welcome to follow along and do something similar. Don't have to be exact. Never, ever, ever has to be exact. Your cities are your, are your own creations as well. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to make ourselves a fairly large city that fits the month just absolutely perfectly. I think I will have a lot of fun with it. So let's take a look at what we're really doing here. As you can see, I'm immediately uh, sketching off a bit of an area here. And the reason why we're doing it this way is because I have a very specific thing that I want to do. You see how I have that little uh, indentation right there? How it kind of like comes out from uh, the main line? That's because something very, 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 very specific is going to be going in those areas. And we're making a lot of these while we're getting the general border of our town. That's what we're doing right now setting up a border and for what we're doing this border is your best friend okay right now unfortunately you want to be doing this on flat land normally normally terrain imperfections are your best friend but that's not what we're doing today today we need to avoid ter uh, terrain imperfections you want to keep the land relatively flat and even this town i had to kind of modify to sort of flatten the land a bit for what we're doing here so you can see here i'm going around the mountain being very very careful not to touch it because it's it's not my friend it's not my friend this time Normally it is. Today it's not. Just an outline, nice flat area. Okay. So that's going to be the outline of our city, believe it or not. This is the outline of our city. And now I'm creating that little, uh, that little like, peaked area on the, on the edges here. Those, those will be our friends. Those will be our friends. But okay. So we have that. Now, I, I want to create this in something similar to what we're doing. So I'm going to grid this out again. Now, this is a very, very huge area. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. But for me, I felt, you know, we've been doing we've been doing it this way for a while now. I, I don't want to just... I don't want to just change that. So yeah, we're, we're just going to grid this. And as you can see, we can do this pretty quickly. Even more quickly when we speed things up, like 300%. But once again, we're doing uh, hopefully 3x3 three three squares. That's the goal here, 3x3 three three blocks. And we're going to be doing this across the entire thing. It's boring to watch. Let's let us let us let's skip ahead, huh? Because you know what we're doing. Alright, same thing here. Nothing unusual. We have our uh, gridded out area, or not, depending on what you choose to do. I'm doing grids, because I, I think they're really, really easy. Easiest way to randomize your thing. Just like, grid everything out. And then just destroy the crap out of everything. That's what I prefer doing. Uh, here... I don't need to know where my main road's gonna go. I already know where my main road's going. So I'm just gonna have a lot of fun going every which way. I'm gonna be deleting horizontally. I'm gonna be deleting vertically. I'm gonna be deleting everywhere. But again, we already know how to do this from the previous videos. So let's just do this across the entire thing really, really quickly. All right, now here's where some of the fun starts taking place. I mean, we've gone ahead and we've gridded everything out. We went ahead, we took our bulldozer. And, you know, began bulldozing just random parts to create this weird-looking thing in the center. All right, cool. We did all that. We did all that. We did all that. But you'll notice these extra areas over here, and then what were we doing with them? We left them completely alone, right? I mean, there's nothing over there. Now is the time to do something about those, because those are actually going to be the key of our entire city, believe it or not. What we're going to do now is we're going to take an avenue, and we're going to split the center just like so. On every single last one of these, we're going to take avenue. And we didn't really get all, you know, exact on everything, so just about where the middle is, we want to go over and make sure that there's like a little bit of an avenue uh, sticking out. Just, just a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. And after that's done, we're going to go and we're going to start drawing our avenue right through the center. Just take the avenue, we're gonna, we're gonna try to make them all nicely connected on up. Don't care what's in front of us. Uh, these don't do well to hold turning things that we've been doing in the previous ones, like the actual roads, so 
probably going to have to stick to being relatively straight. I mean, we don't have a huge area to work with, so let's just try to get them connected up as much as possible, okay? So, it doesn't mean that we are going to not attempt to make it a little bit different. I, I do, you know, put in a few turns here and there. Just to make it a little bit more interesting. That's really the only reason why I'm doing that. I didn't want to just have like straight avenues going straight across the city. I wanted to make certain that there were, you know, that there was a little bit of life to these things. Now, of course, these things don't match up completely. That's perfectly fine. That's 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 more than fine. It's amazing. It means we have another turn that we have to put in our hands. That's great. We want the turns. We want those turns. Anything to make things a little bit different. And yeah, okay, it fought me a little bit, but there it goes. And the rest of them, the rest of them can just go ahead and link straight on up. Though I think maybe I'm a little bit indecisive about that here. Yeah, see, I think about turning, but let's kill that because I don't, I don't really turn this. There we go. Through the miracle of editing, we just go straight across. But there are no accidents. Believe it or not, you see that area that is now devoid of anything? That's going to be an amazing area, and it's actually inspired me to do so much more with this city. But you'll see you'll see in a minute, because there's there's so much we want to do here. There's just so much we want to do here. that I think you're going to have a lot of fun with this. So, all right. Once again, just connecting on up, and everything's good to go. Once we really repair this. But after that, you know, you get the general idea. Alright, so we kind of spread sped through the opening parts, so we can have ourselves a little bit of fun with this city. Because this is a haunted town. So the question is, why is it haunted? What does a haunted town look like? Well, with the mods that I had available, I had a specific look in mind. And that look, first... <laughs> That look first had me dropping down all the way here. Oh, down, there we go. There we go. Look at those. What are those? What are those in my mod screen, huh? If you think those are walls, you are actually quite correct. And if you think that is a castle gate, once again, you are absolutely correct. That's right. We've decided to put a castle gate in our town. Do you see why we wanted a flat terrain now? You're beginning to see it, because if I have a castle gate, well, then obviously I'm probably going to have castle walls, because you see this castle gate is special. Avenues can go straight through it, right? Someone was really thinking ahead. And all of this little outer line that we did, yeah, we're going to turn all of this into a castle wall. So right here under landmarks, I'm going to take these little nice little straight pieces, and we're going to make ourselves a little bit of a castle here. Or a little bit of a wall here. Now, for those more clever among you, don't mind the fact that that's not straight. We'll get to that in a minute. But those uh, who are more clever among you will think about the wall and be kind of wondering, be a little bit curious. It's like, well, if you've got a wall, why, why do you need the wall? Because clearly, you're trying to keep things out, right? But I'll tell you what, we're going to get to that in a minute. For now, let's look at this. Uh, there are two ways to handle corners. There's the inner corner and the outer corner, and I screwed this up for so long. Essentially, the direction the, inner, the corner faces determines which one you want. Like right here, the corner is actually facing the outside. Like uh, The inside of the corner, rather, is facing outside, so it's an outer piece. When the inside of the corner faces the inside, it's an inner corner. So that's pretty straightforward. I was really tired when I did this, and I wound up, uh, yeah. Now the downside of what we're doing is we have to place this wall piece by piece, and we're working on a large map, <laughs> okay? This is a large map, and we're going to have to go by one, by one, by one, across everything. So that can be a little bit daunting, but you know what? I think this area is going to look so cool, and this whole town is going to be so unique and just so different that I'm willing to do that. We're going to go one by one across the entire thing. Unfortunately, you probably don't want to see that, so let's jump ahead just a tiny bit here, shall we? 
All right, so here we are progressing along nicely with our wall. You'll see this area is roughly nice and straight compared to the area that we were in, which was all, you know, completely disjointed and not meeting clearly at all. Kind of like this area right here. See how there's like more steps than anything else? Doesn't really show from afar very well. But if you are following along and you do want to make something smoother, make certain that, you know, you pick up your uh, rural highway mod tool and just drag something across. You're going to get a nice, uh, more even, more even uh, little section there than you had previously. If you have another slope mod tool that you want to get even more uh, straightened out, go ahead and feel free to use that one. I'm just using this one because I didn't want to be bothered to stop the recording and finding a different one. And for the most part, you know, it looks, it looks pretty good, right? It doesn't look too bad. There might be a few areas that don't look uh, completely uh, like they're supposed to, but overall, I think for my purposes right now, it'll, it'll look okay. It'll look okay. And our wall will look mostly... <clears throat> excuse me. And our wall will look mostly straight. And oh my god, what's wrong with my voice? Alright, sorry about that. So now that we have that, we're going to continue along straight down the road around our city as per usual. Well, not really usual. This is the first time we've done it. As per usual so far for this town. The only other thing I really want to mention here, though, is that this wall does come with variations. Because you can see here, we had a nice straight little wall, but it was boring to look at, right? It had no life to it whatsoever. It's like, no life to this wall at all. Luckily for us, there's custom pieces that we can use, such as this little tower between a straight little wall. That's cool. You can throw it in for effect. We've got some stairs going up to the wall. That's pretty cool for a nice effect. Stairs going a different way. So there's a little bit of ways to, uh, you know, to kind of make the wall a bit more appealing to look at. And you can see I've already done it in other places as well. So it's a little customizable. Not not totally customizable, but, you know, enough for our method. It's, it's more than fine because it looks beautiful, in my opinion. And you have that cool little path around there, too. Alright, so when we're done building the wall around everything, I have to say, things are looking surprisingly cool as is. We've got the gates around the air, around uh, our city. We've got the space at the top, as you can see up top. That's gonna have something very special in there, don't worry about it. I left that, everything here is so far intentionally done, okay? Everything's intentional. I know exactly how I want pretty much this entire thing to look at, to look like rather, and so far it's going really, really well. I love these walls, they're so much fun to work with. But we do have neighborhoods without development in them, so we're going to have to do that. Now I'm going to start off doing what I always do, and I'm going to do two by my whatevers. I don't know why. I, I just like the look of them. Three tends to grow too high. One doesn't grow high enough. Arguably, I could make the statement that, well, ones could be okay given... The nature of the town and the fact that it's got a freaking wall around it. But you know what? Doesn't matter. If it's your commercial area, you can make your commercial area look however you want. I'm doing twos. You can do whatever. In fact, if you wanted to, this could probably even be light uh, industrial. Not light, medium industrial, sorry. I imagine it could be. I, I'm not doing it. I have something a little bit different in mind. But if you wanted to put medium industrial in here and maybe only the center, uh, center stretch being commercial, you know what, you could do that. You could do that and have fun with that. That's perfectly cool. I'm just gonna do commercial because I, it's the way that I've always been doing it so far in these tutorials. And, you know, we're stuck in a rut. So there you go. Your city, you do however you want. Commercial is placed. Quite obviously what we're gonna do is place a ton of residential, right? Stands to reason. All right, so commercial done. Oh, almost done, sorry. Not quite, not quite, but it's uh, getting there. It's getting there. A few more spots, and then we should be good to go. All right, so there we go. Commercial's done. Now all we need to do is decide how we're going to do uh, all these residential areas. Which sounds probably really, really strange right now, because I realize I haven't uh, actually killed the audio. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Shouldn't be too distracting. But predominantly, we're not going to waste any time. We're doing ones everywhere we can. 
just to have our nice little neighborhoods, because we're not really trying to build the best neighborhoods possible right now. You can, in your city, you can take time, build whatever you want. For me, the excitement for me is coming in what else is going in the city, how else we're going to be able to decorate it, because this kind of thing we've seen like a million times before, right? Any fool that grabs SimCity knows how to build residential zones. Not, it's not all that wondrous, right? So yeah, go ahead, zone everything else. You know what to do. A lot of residential, a lot of residential. Alright, so now here we are for what is the most annoying part of the entire thing. Now, since this is an October month, right, and we're doing Haunted, Haunted City, means we can't have lively trees, right? I mean, it's October, that wouldn't make any sense. So what we're gonna do, and I think this will make sense eventually, is we're putting in all dead trees. Now, the reason why this is so annoying is as you can see, I'm kind of having to click it multiple times because there's a set of four trees every time I click. And I don't want only the ones that are all laying down. I don't want only the ones that are all on the top and nice and tall. I kind of want a mixture, so I've got to click a lot of times to get what I want. It's really, really irritating. And if it uh, stacks too close together, overlaps too much, then you can't really tell what's there, so... Oh my god, is this gonna take a while. Suffice it to say, like every other one we do, I'm putting in a lot of trees here. And this is gonna look stupid. Not gonna look stupid, it's gonna take a stupid amount of time, rather. So let's just jump ahead to the end, and see what it is. Cause this... It kind of, it kind of emphasizes the city, but it's not really the highlight of it. The highlight is coming up right now. Let's check some of this out. All right, so what's the highlight? We're all done with the trees, right? But we have detail that we can add. Detail is amazing. I absolutely love detail. One of the details that we're gonna put in is we're putting in a bunch of farms on the outside. They're not gonna serve a lot of people, but I like the look and it kind of goes with the whole medieval wall thing. That there would be farms out here, right? Surely, surely you'll give me that one. So, okay, we're gonna make a, bu we're gonna make a bunch of farms because it just goes with the overall theme of the entire city. It wouldn't make a whole lot of sense to have, like, castles and walls and then just dirty industry. I mean, I, I guess it kind of could, but I wasn't really liking the feel of that. So I decided, you know what, let's go have some farmland out here. Have some farmland. Only out here, though. Only out here. We're not going to farm the entire thing because we've got plans for the rest of uh, the region. So you can see, I'm just randomly making some farms, putting them wherever they need to go. Which, overall, I'm happy with. And we'll probably go back and, you know, put in uh, trees and whatnot there. Dead ones, though, mind you. Dead ones, dead ones, dead ones. There's going to be very, very few living trees uh, in this particular, <laughs> in this particular uh, map, I guess. And they're not going to be down here. They're not going to be down here. Here... Just a bunch of farmlands, because who doesn't like farmlands? Everyone likes farmlands. So alright, we got our farmlands in, putting in a road, minimizing how many roads we can put in though. Because I don't want them all completely encased in roads, that wouldn't make much sense. I want very, very minimal amount of roads, that way I can have a lot of trees, and whatever else I want later, as just like, nice little filler, right? Because we like filler. Filler makes the city. We've learned that by now. It's all about the filler. All, 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 all about the filler. 
that really makes your uh, town come alive. And that, that clicking sounds so funny when it's sped up, I don't know, like 356.29% in case you were wondering. That sounds so weird. Good thing there's no music. But alright, so we've got that. We've saved it. Good on us. You know what it's time for. If you guessed that it's time to unpause, let the city build, and congratulations, you're 100% correct. It's exactly what we're gonna do. We have entirely too much commercial. <laughs> we'll, we'll fill it in later. But right now, with all of this lack of industry and, uh, yeah, way too much commercial. But on the bright side, people are coming in. We've given them no services yet, which means we're gonna get back our money immediately. Immediately, which means we have so much money to continue having fun and doing other things. Because that's why we're doing this. Because how we're going to specialize this city, it's going to cost a lot of money for some of the special buildings that we're going to be putting in to really make this city truly unique and eye-catching, okay? So for that, we need people. People give us money, and then we can in turn make their town a lot better. You know, completely opposite of how the world actually works. No, 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 no. The world would, we, the people give us money, and then we put it under our beds and don't admit that we have the money. I think that's what usually how the world works. At least here in the US. But aside from that. Aside from that, aside from that, aside from that. You can see they're coming in. You can see they don't have power. I, I didn't want to put in a power plant, so I thought I'd be sneaky. And I was going to just put in solar power via some modding I downloaded. But mods are pretty, these aren't cheap. I mean, these are $42 uh, dollars a month for like three, what was it? Uh, 300 megawatt hours, yeah. So, not as not as uh, efficient as coal, which would make sense. But unfortunately, it does mean I take a lot of them. I have to double the size of this very, very quickly. I had no idea. I had no idea I was going to have to do that. So, very, very shortly, you can see already on that graph, they're so close. Oh my god. They are so close already. We're almost already at our, like, demand. Oh, so bad. And look at the lack of commercial. You see all that commercial that we don't have? Isn't it amazing? We have, like, no demand for commercial yet. It's just, like, this arbitrarily blue strip. It might as well be a frigging moat running through our... <gasps> a moat running through... Canals. I've never made a city with canals, have I? But we could so do it with this method, couldn't we? We could just like pick roads and make fucking canals. All right, immediately that means you know I'll make another town after this. <laughs> I want to make a canal town. Oh my god, that'll be so much fun. Anyway, you can see, yeah, we're just getting completely blown apart. We've got like a max of 2,000 uh, and, you know, coal power. Takes not even like a fraction of what we're gonna be making, but uh, coal would give us six thousand. But no, all of this gives us two thousand. Unfor or not unfortunately, but thankfully, we haven't given them anything, so we can afford it. We're giving them power. After that, they can't comp and water, mind you. They got power and water, but so far they're not frightening, are they? This is just setting up for the second half. This is gonna be a pretty long video. Hope you don't mind. This is going to be uh, setting up for our second half of how we are going to make this a true spooky and Halloween town. Maybe second video. I don't know. One of the two. I'll have to decide later. But yeah, you see how much I have to put in? Look at all this. Look at all this. Look at all this. Oh my god. Decide. Click. Dude, it's a one by one. Yes, click that. Click it, click, click. Yeah, thank you. I'm so indecisive. There we go. All of those are a power plant, <laughs> you know, effectively, or not effectively as the case may be. But all right, we got power. Not a very large array of solar panels when it's all said and done, but oh man. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. On the bright side, it's powering my, what is that? I can't read that on my tiny pre- 13,000, there you go, the three, I can make that one out. So it's powered by 13,000 people, so that's cool, right? That's cool. But so far, yeah. Town, like any other, except for the huge walls around the entire thing. So the question is, 
And I'm gonna cut to another video on when I do this. I want you to guess. What am I gonna have on the outside of those walls? And what am I gonna have on the inside of those walls? And, 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 what is gonna be in that large open area? What do you think? Cause I already know. I already know exactly what's gonna be in there. How do I know? Cause I've recorded the freaking thing, haven't I? Yeah, I have. This is all lovely little editing. So what do you think? I want to hear your I want to hear your guesses. What is going to be in here? This region, this city, what's it for? What's going to be on the outskirts? What's going to be on the inside? What's going to be in the giant spaces I've left open? Let me know down below. I'm really curious.